everyone, it's Meepo, and this time the second game is on as we have the next matchup. Winner go home for Los Angeles as they're playing against the Mavericks of Dallas back at Crypto.com Arena. This is a part of the match game as we're right ready to see who can take the next win and move on to face against the Funders. Now this part of the game is not always the easy one, but all you can take is is where everybody gets the win there for the back of And for each player, so we'll take it over and they will face against the Nuggets on the other side. For the other game will be the Wolves and the Suns, they will be playing against the winning team of the Funders in the third seed matchup. But this is it. Will this be the Los Angeles win to get to game six or game five to end off for the Clippers night? And Mavericks move on to the second round. Find out after the final buzz horn in the regulation period. Now for the next commentary, I will have is OJ, and he's along with Paintbrush. And for commentary of the crew is Son of Beast. And across from here is David Aldrich for the center quarter court side. I'll be back later for the post game show. Guys, take it away. And now they're ready to step into the locker room. Game five is a courtesy to me. Win or go home. Hey folks, it's OJ, and I am here at Crypto.com Arena to get ready for the fifth game. Along with me, Paintbrush and Center Beast, and David Aldrich, this is NBA Playoffs on 2K Sports. Here the courtesy of the lineup with the key matchups in between. Looping down kick is on James Harden. Irving is on Terrence Mann. Paul George is with Derek Jones Jr. Then across from here we have is Zubox. And over on the other side of it is Daniel Gaffer. And finally for the point four position, we've got Kawhi Leonard. And he's with on the other side on the court. Jason Kidd is the head coach for the Dallas Mavericks. And the other one, a real ready to bring things on. Winner go for the Clippers. Here we go. Game's on and we are ready as PJ Washington is on Kawhi Leonard. We start this game here as he finds again to Luka Doncic. Doncic finds it over to pass, finding to call out Kawhi Leonard on Irving. Irving finds Luka Doncic. For the two, start off with a jump shot for Luka Doncic. That's his first bucket in the game. You know, I always say Luka Doncic is definitely really well. I mean, he fights early. However, he doesn't really face the fact. He's really taken all this time, and it's maybe as a feel like it's a comfortable way for Luka Doncic to start things off here. The best zero lead in the 100 spot of the highlights may be what they're looking for. But the bad fact is, I have to keep on it going if he has more. Jones Jr. now finding again to Irving. Irving, sorry, back for the two. This one will take in. It's Kyrie Irving with his first bucket. Up back in the lead, Irving with two. And now here's the take. There's Harden on the throw The layup for today. As he had that one, goes in now. Here's Doncic. The airway now finds it over to Irving. Irving with the playoff drive. And he will take it in there. That will be his second bucket. Luka Doncic with the assist. 6.40 left to go in the first. Now, this is what Luka Doncic is really taking over. The better one of the offense, Kyrie uh, Irving has been training it. All for most of the off rod. And he's pro at it. And he makes his, all of them work easy. It's making this in a lot of a hard and difficult challenge. But making this one real, it's not really what they all expected to say. How well he has done will make this accomplishment successful. Luka Doncic, he's definitely really well playing his hero league, the best. Paul George with the ball, now having on Jones Jr. Sidestepping it over. Turn the free throw line's good. Paul George with his first bucket. Now, Donkic with the ball, finds again to P.J. Washington. The bounce pass finds Luka Donkic. Up at the 10, the layup puts it in. Donkic with another bucket. And it's Washington with the assist. Not to say P.J. Washington is really well. I mean, kind of better to say. And at least been it's just now or never. He made that one a lot clearer, and that's like a hard part. When you play for an offense, you got to go with a good look take if you have it in. Gaffert's on Harden for the shoot. 
And an offensive three second calls on Zubox. That will be his first to take over with a turnover for the Clippers. Yeah, they're starting to make it aggressive right now. I mean, they're not moving that one really well. They have to watch where the paint is. If they can't get off, that means the three second doesn't appear because they have to move quickly and they can't let it leave them off by the hand. And the Jones Jr., great pass by Donkic, start things off with the first bucket. Timeout called by Los Angeles with 5.11 to go. They really have to talk it over. And they're never going to let that one slow it down because if there's something that's bad happening, they don't want to let that mess up at all time. They don't want this one to get all separated up and that's what happens. They're losing it everywhere. They don't want that one to get out of the way as soon as they can. Because if something happens, they don't want it to lose it or quit it. And for us, you have a game on the other side. We only have a couple of games in between. Right now, as the Thunders and the Nuggets are already ended in the second round, they are facing the win off from Clippers to Mavericks or the Wolves or the Suns, right in between of those two. But the Eastern Conference, as we're bringing it back, we've got the Celtics versus the Sixers and Buck against the Heat. And then we have the Cavaliers facing against the Pacers. That'll be all three of each game, but just a couple of games in between before the second round has appeared. And if you all expect it, what it will do, let's find out who will be the next matchup. It's right now the last part of the game as the Knicks already won against the Magic. They move on to take on against the winning team between Sixers or the Celtics. I think Celtics and the Knicks are going to be a good team. Yeah, you know what? I always got to say, I mean, they're not really what they were going for. But it may be what they want. I mean, let's try to see what they can do if they have the answer back. Here's Leonard with the ball. Gives off to George. A big takeoff. Jones Jr. with a nice defensive effort. You know, Jones Jr. has got that fast pace already. I mean, you have to make that one a lot harder than they. Challenging is, everyone's got to play hard on defense. They've got to make sure that they all have the right moment to be there. Because this is not the most uh, hard on a effort that you have to take all of it alone. The three-pointer misses from the outside as now Gafford's got the ball. Give again to Dunkic. Dunkic finds a pass over now for any Gafford. Gafford gives a swing off. Over on the outside now finding Jones Jr. again to Dunkic. Dunkic, step back for the two. Unlucky in making a missed appearance. He has another bucket in. Jones Jr. with the assist. Now they're really expecting that Dunkic is really doing really well. This is the part of an offensive training career that they all have to go with. This is not how hard it is. We've got to make that one a lot bigger. And the better transition is our one to be great. And Washington with the ball now finds again to Jones Jr. Jones Jr. trying to find it again. Over to Washington, sliding it across, now finds it over, back to Jones Jr. Sliding it down for the two, that one sits it in, another two-pointer makes for Dallas. They're on a tight start with a great run-out roll over by 10. They just have to believe on them. I know Jones Jr. got really good pressure in there, I don't let it complain in there. It's Leonard with the screen on Zubak with the two, and he will have it in there. Dallas, up eight. Here's Dawkins, finds a pass to Jones Jr. He's it over again, not finding Dawkins. Looks over to Washington. Washington trying to give over again to Jones Jr. for three. This is off the ring and it's rebounded by Terrence Van. Three minutes remaining in the first period, first quarter of the game. Terrence Van trying to look along across the early and his inbox shot foul. Ball done, Gafford. That'll be his first foul for the Dallas Mavericks. Well, it's a good contact out there, but Zimita Zubox is really putting it in. And man, looking at it, trying to put it in there for the layup. That wasn't really easy at all. Trying to make this with a little clarity, he had one. For a strip of the free throw line will be the Los Angeles Clippers with under three minutes. And the first shot will hit it. Now for some new substitution as Maxi Kleba, Tim Hardaway Jr., and Lively this third comes in for Irving Washington 
and Gaffer. The Clippers are making new changes. Five players are checked out as now Yvika Zubox moves the point forward. Plumley, Coffee, Powell, and you know it. All just happened now. Going with Norman Powell. And second free throw will send in for Zubox. Clippers throw by six. Zubox looking over, finding a lively in second. Looks it over. Finds Hardaway Jr. The bounce pass finds Lively in second. Layup in. That's what's a tough offense there. So Lively got this first bucket in game five. That was really well. Keeping that hard one for Lively in second is going to keep on moving. They got to make sure that they have another one to go in. Timeout Cole by LA with 2.33 left to go in the first period, quarter of the game. If you're looking for your tickets in here, and we are ready to have you up here. If you would love to have this one, you're going to love that. It's the Anime Insanity VFDI Experience at the Tour. We are hosting in Los Angeles, so if you have your tickets already, that's great. Hope you'll be there and hope you'll have fun for the show. Not for just the Clippers, however, but hope you'll be seeing this one next season. And speaking of which one, the Open Brick Packet um, Games or the matchup will be starting out underway here soon on July 17th and the 18th of NHL and NBA. That will be right in between the most two on its way. And coming soon, the new level is on its way, WNBA 2K. And that will be the first part of it on 2K Sports to host it for the first time ever to level up the increasement to have this one never new range. I know this one's going to be great. With WNBA, I haven't seen them playing it for so long, and this might be one of their appearance. They might have it all. Let's call them for it. We'd love to have that one documented. A new substitution on the court right now as PJ Tucker's checked in. And for the Mavericks, as Luka Doncic is checked out, and checking in will be Hardy. Here's a cut and Powell up, picks it in. That will be a start off rocket run for the Norman Powell and the bench line setup. This is a great take. I always know that Norman Powell was really like up to the pressure. He wants to start things up and said, okay, I'll give it a go. Hardy now finds again a Hardaway Jr. on the outside, trying to get put it in. Hardy for three. Swish it in on the outside. That will start things off into the bench points. Just two minutes left to remain in the first quarter of the game. As Russell Westbrook's checked in too. And here it comes. Over with the two. Copy. No good. Jones Jr. with his third rebound of the night. Off again to Hardy. Moving again. Hardy gives again. Jones Jr. to Hardaway Jr. Over to Ron Powell. First shot. Can it the flow? Clippers back the other way. No room for our opener. He will take it in there. Norman Powell with a second bucket. Uh, that stands it out here. Norman Powell is really like getting it all to a timeout to make that one out of a stop. This doesn't mean like he really is taking it over, but he is trying to get this one the right timing. Maxi Kleber on BJ Tucker. Six on the shot clock. Joe Shooter better hurry. And Kleber misses the three pointer, but Jones Shooter got a backpack to Hardy. Almost it, but still have it. Jones Jr. Sidestep for two. Another miss by Dallas. Uh, the shooting really a little an awkward start here. And it's bench points, but that one is a great smoke out. They got to make sure they have it in there at the right time and to get it done. And here's again to Jones Jr. The finish off with the drive. He loses the ball, and Powell takes it over. Westbrook, for the wing, spinning in, looking for a hard setup, and Plumley throws it down. After assist by Russell Westbrook with 20.8 seconds. Los Angeles catching their breath. Here's Maxi Kleber on the outside. Over now to Hardy. The bounce pass looks his way toward the Tim Hardaway Jr. And off of Hardy, three to shoot. Time ticking down with a two, and it's off the rim. 
A little bit of a hard start here, but the Clippers are trying to answer their back in game five. 21 to 16 is the score. We'll take a quick break and get back to you after this. Welcome back to the NBA playoffs as you're about to be starting off with a second quarter. If you're tuning us in, we got a 21-16 game. And over to you guys of how they did. Well, in the first season, this happened to be a regulation on the mark. I never see what they are doing. And this isn't what they mentioned. I just have to feel like they have really been pushing it out a little bit, but it's not for long of how they've done it. They need to make sure they have a lot of hard consequences in between, but they can't let that one live out for a while. And all going to start. Oh, a big exit on that first block of rejection of the night. Paolo Luck will take his first drive in and his first block in appearance as Washington with the assists. Now that's great connection over here. You know PJ Washington, he's been really taking note over his time. And that's what he was doing here right away. Try to get this one in there as soon as he can. Foul called on Exa. That'll be his first personal. And an RT foul for Mavericks at the Dallas. Now as we're only 730 to go, he'll be at the free throw line shooting too. Daniel Feist checking in for the Los Angeles Clippers. Right now, he's at the free throw line shooting two. First free throw off the mark. You know, Daniel Feist hasn't been playing here with the Chicago Bulls, but this is where it keeps on coming. Yeah, after all that hard work of a dedication, this is what they really know for. Daniel Feist is not only the guy you always met from playing with the Boston Celtics, but this time, he had just made his next new generation in here for a career, but the better offense may just let that one be. You just gotta get that one a look and a better take. It's not what they always do, but they have to improve it. Got a pass, finds again to Luka Doncic. Over again with a shot, and he's fouled by Highway. That will be their first personal foul, first team foul for Los Angeles. Luka Doncic at the free throw line shooting two. Now you're never really saying that Luka Doncic is trying to put that cut in drive. This one was going to put in a floater, but that caught him. This one is not turning to be a start in the second quarter of the game. First shooter to the free throw line will be Dallas Mavericks with only 7.18 to go. the first free throw. Now you could say right now that Luka Doncic is really like a best hard work on the technician. Just had to believe on it for the hero leagues that he's been accomplishing it for. His better technique might be putting it in to bring him into the second round if they have a lot more scoring advantage. I mean he's the best. Gotta give him a superstar credit. And a second free throw misses. Here's the take for James Harden. Over with a two. Rebound and fights will have it in. 24 to 18 is the score. Seven minutes going by, a minute going by. Los Angeles with the ball, not finding it again. Here's Ross Irving. Driving the motion, takes it in. What a great step here for Kyrie Irving. He has his third bucket. I really love that. Irving, what are you going to do with that? Now it's the take for Garland. Passes over to George. George making it across. Step back over Exhale. Fades a shot. Three for Garland. Twist it from the outside. That gives it in for another three pointer. It's Paul George with the assists. Got to have that one lock pressure again. That hard offense is not going to slow it down. Got to take some more room if you can try to handle it. Exhale with the ball. Behind it is Irving. Irving, the swing off, Donkage for two. And we'll have a three-pointer in there. I don't think that challenge was going to be a call if this was within a two-point for sure. Well, I'm not sure if that is, but maybe that must have been a problem. They just never realized that there was going to be a challenge in that call. Maybe they didn't get that one clean. Mm, that would be a hard one there. I'm thinking that must have been a three-pointer. 
if that's was a two, if he's on a three-point line, then that would be a problem for that. And then he gets over to D-Wright Powell. Around fights and good! D-Wright Powell with the second bucket. And Luka Doncic with the assist. Five three left to go in the first half. James Harden. Find a cut. Over Irving. Oh, what a great step in! Harden does it again. The beer putting in for show. That's what he just definitely wants. Doncic trying to pass again to Washington. Washington trying to give over the three again for Doncic. Another one swishes in. Everybody scores shooting three pointers. He has 15. Now they're really expecting that this higher range. He's on a higher gray on this point. Look at Doncic is on a show. Timeout call by Los Angeles Clippers with five minutes to go in the first half. Have a little bit more time right now, but Luka Doncic might be showing him what he does. Yes, you can definitely say for Luka Doncic, better to take off. That's right now with a new substitution on the court. Vika Zubox back on the court right now with Kawhi Leonard and James Harden, Darius Mann, and Paul George. On the other side, Green and Gafford are checked in. All the official players here, free players, and Sarah Feist is checked out. Harden moves over to point guard. Now here's the pass, now finding it again to Green. Green finds it again to Dunkich. Dunkich, over again to Washington. He takes a three. Oh, he takes that one outside after Dunkich with the assist. Now that's a pass off you give it to PJ Washington. He makes his full contact. He made this one a, a good look at the nine range. That one gets a good pointer, but you can't miss that one. That one taking a great look of the inbound. Now, number base puts in for Los Angeles. 4 15 left to go. Here's Donkey with a shot and he's fouled. That's his second team foul for James Harden as Los Angeles adding another foul on this game. Now, as Mavericks are adding another free throw with 4 14 left to go. Yeah, this is what happens since season three. Not really what everybody was special about. But you have to expect, because at this point, he's not getting a good option. They can't let that one get messed over, and they do not want to let that one happen. They're flying everywhere. That's why they can't let that one get into it. Luka Doncic trying to show them off, but that is no joke. They can't let this one go right downtown to try to win the game. They really are having a hard effort to put it there. Yeah, I must have agreed right now, because Luka Doncic is really like... Trying to get this one in there, but he's making a great free throws in the game. That's a hard part, but hey, just do your best and get right to it. And the second free throw will set in for Luka Doncic. 39 25 is the score as they trail by 13. Now Harden off an alley oop pass. This one is knocked away. Irving now finding Doncic. He now finds it over with the shot for three. That's off the rim, and it's rebounded by Harden. Now here's Ben on the breakdown. Oh, that dog puts it in. What an excellent drive backward. Backing over now, down by 12. Now that's where you don't mess that up. That is a great look. You're finding that one with an open execution to this game. Now finding Gafford again to Washington. Six, bucket six. Burn the elbow, Gapper. This is the target, it's Kawhi Leonard with the rebound. And off to the races. Loose the ball, keeps the possession alive. Two box up, and a layup with ten. He puts another two pointer. They're down by ten, and man with the assist. Now they saw that coming right now because that playable was a comeback look. He almost lost that ball, but that is a great takeover. James Harden knew that ball would have been almost turned it over, but thank goodness he had that team back in. Now he finds again. Here's Green. Green finds Dawkins. Dawkins with another look. Finding Gaffer for two. Off the rim. Irving with the rebound off Lenny Washington. Back behind the pass finds Green. Green gives it again to Dunkage. Quarter for three, and good! Kyrie Irving with nine points, and Dunkage with the assist. Uncle Drew moment, that's what he's doing, give him mess. And here's James Harden, finds the pass to George. 
Open shot angle. Another wrist puts up by Los Angeles. Dunkage finds it over with the finish drive. It rolls out of bounds. It goes back to LA Ball. Three cuts over, and now it throws over with another new line change. Hardaway Jr. lively to second, and Kluba checked in. And don't forget, we have a halftime show coming up for you. We have Ernie Johnson, Katie Jet Smith, and Shaq O'Neal are ready to have a halftime report. That will be all the games coming up after the first half. They will also make new changes for the Clippers, too. Inside the zone, pass over. Foul with the ball. Zubox covering the screen. That rolls out. Hardaway with the ball now finds it over to Kleba. Off again, finding an open look. Here's Green. Seven drive. It's good. Josh Green finally takes his first bucket in. 44 29 is the score. Yeah, they are just out doing their trick. Making that offense that easy and simple. Now find Plumley, and the Plumley makes a drive. Defensive breakdown for Dallas. Now they're not even like paying attention right now. I mean, nobody is covering on Plumley. They have to just try to make another new change up and try to get back into it. And with the reporter from David Aldridge, he talked to one of the, uh, the, the team players that had it all. Luka Doncic was also in a successful career, but that didn't change it until Kyrie Irving makes a trade-in deadline with the Brooklyn Nets to the Dallas Mavericks to keep going with their possession. On this drive, on the days like this, it's never been the same thing. They always got to believe on that because of Jason Kidd, the head coach from the Dallas Mavericks, who didn't really expect to let that one go in by. But they really like to have that one a great timing effort. Make it all clear. Where we now find Green. Sidestep around a two and good. Josh Green with his second bucket. Nearing the 30 second mark. 46 31 to score. Lila in that fight again. Foul for three. That's a nervous by Los Angeles. Here's Green. We have that ball in possession with 20 seconds left. Powell gives over to Lively in a second. We'll take the finish. And that one's off the rim. Shot clock is unplugged. Last one for the first half. Man over to Powell. Up and a dunk for him. What a throw down. And now back the other way to the Dallas Mavericks. Irving for a chance for a buzz beater. And it's off the rim. That concludes the first half. 46 33 is the score. All right, let's have a chance now as I send it over to David Aldridge. Stand by for the halftime show. David. Thanks a lot. Kyrie, what were you all focusing on coming into the game tonight? Talking about with the you know, intense focus and intensity that you know, all these teams came at. Just doing whatever it takes to you know, keep our tempo. Um, you know, guys are in a, in a great rhythm and we have a great tempo, so just trying to get everybody involved and do whatever it takes to win. Well, we'll see if you can keep playing at your pace in the second half. Thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you. All right, David, thank you. Right we'll be right back. Third quarter's coming up after this. See you, see you later in just a bit. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Greetings to each and every one of you watching at this very moment. Uh, I'm Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is here. Shaq is here. One half is behind us. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Luka Doncic had a huge first quarter. He ended up with 17 points, 6 assists, and 1 rebound. Let's start with you, Shaq. What do you think about the Mavericks? They built this lead from the perimeter. We know they have shooters to do it. We know sometimes they play outside in. This is one of those games that's going on by the script. Hey, Kenny, let's get your thoughts on the Clippers. They wouldn't be in such a deep hole if they hadn't given up so many offensive rebounds. Getting out hustled, getting in the mass, losing possession. The one thing you can control is effort. And that's a wrap. With the third quarter approaching, we now send you back to Kevin and the crew. You've been watching the 2K Sports Halftime Show. And if you're just sitting here, we are welcoming you back at Crypton Alcom Arena. About to get ready for the third quarter. On a great start run for the Mavericks as we all have a good average to make that run count. Luka Doncic on fire for the first half. But this one is turning to be great. 
Yeah, he's really excellent right now. Execution is turning to be in for his better performance skills. An ear elite stepping down, he knows from Salemia, does have it all with his team for the Olympics. Yeah, I love him. He's a great guy. Believe him. We start the third quarter. James Harden, he's with on he's with on a PJ Tucker with Luka Doncic. Then across from here we have is Paul George on PJ on Gafford. Then across from here on the outside we have is Irving. He's on Terrence Mann. From outside, Jones Jr. on Vika Zubox. And finally, eight Saul in the same by Washington and Kawhi Leonard. Here's a great three for Derek Jones Jr. Unable to get that three pointer, it's back the other way. And a pass over to George. Here's a three for him. It's good outside, puts it in. Now, Luka Doncic with the ball. Kicks it over, not finding it again to Daniel Gaffer. Gaffer finds again to Luka Doncic. Looks it over, three for Jones Jr. Gets it back, Doncic up. Hard contact on the foul, but no foul ball to L.A. Clippers. It's Harden with a great defensive backboard. Three to it in! That's Paul George for two. That is way outside. Better curriculum is just not even always easy enough when you take it here. But Gaffer will swing it across again to Jones Jr. Jones Jr. is spreading it out a little bit. He the shot. Irving trying to give over to Dunkic. The bounce pass finds Gaffer for two, and it's good. Gaffer with a two-point bucket, and it's Luka Doncic with the assist. Keep in mind, though, that Daniel Gaffer hasn't been really taking a shot all day. Because at the moment, it didn't really happen for most of the occasions, and it doesn't really make that one feel a hard time in our pro downs. It's a little bit of a, a hard situating in between the passing zones. That angle may not be what you want, because that is going to get in, in the way. Here's a three for Donkic. Rolls in that. Terrence Mann with the rebound with under six minutes to go. Tries to give off to Harden. Harden over to George. A big scoop and drive. After Harden with the assist. It's just going to keep on going now. They really wanted to show it off. Irving with the ball. Now finds again to Luka Donkic. Duncan trying to face it over. Washington on outside. Slides it back. Gives it again to Irving. Six on the shot clock. Need to get moving. Irving with the two. It's good. Kyrie Irving makes it in. 11 points in the game in game five. Really have to know Uncle Drew putting a little powwow moment. Trying to put that back stepper in. The three on the other side goes to Terrence Mann. Even though it's in there, it's now back down by seven. They really are in a hot streak. Gotta keep pushing. Duncan now finds it over to get into Jones Jr. The bounce pass, finding Gafford. Backing step, made the shot back to again to lock with Luka Doncic and it's stolen by George. There's the fast break. Toward the middle. Step back for two. Rolls off the rim and it goes another miss by the Clippers. Here's Gafford, now has to begin to Irving. Irving now decided to give it over to Luka Doncic. Doncic finds it over again. Jones Jr. Step out the two. Unable to make that play. Gafford up. Solid performance by Yubiko Zubox. He's really like putting in the pressure defense. They're trying not to foul him. But this way is out of a hard contest to put it up into a work of fetish. It's just putting it in there quick, but not really when all they've done is keeping it in there. Rebound puts in by Gafford. Now he's the other way for BJ Washington. Give it go to Gafford. The two, they missed again. Another one reaches out for Dallas Mavericks. And now Harden with the ball. Spins the move. Tries to put it back. Now finding Vika Zubox. Zubox, paid across, finding Harden. Dunkic on him. Spins the move. Over Dunkic. Rolls in and out. Dunkic just got his fifth rebound of the night. Now has it over to get it Irving. Here's the finish. And he's fouled. Terrence Mann with his most personal foul and an team foul call on Los Angeles. Shooting for Dallas. Kyrie Irving. Shooting.
Did you suppose free throw? He ever played it before, part of his rookie of the year, and it was selected with the Cleveland Cavaliers. But this time, the eight-time All-Star, that's his personal record that he has been broken it out. That's a hard one to take. Powell and Lively the second, and Tim Hardaway Jr. are checked in. Russell Westbrook along with PJ Tucker and Feist are checked in. And with another splash in, and Norman Powell is also checked in. Now PG-13 will start things off new. Looks to Tucker. Powell back to George. Screen on fights. Back set for team. That misses again. Another two-pointer miss by PG-13. Well, he's got to get that one in there. I mean, a PG-13 just trying to get the number of scores to make it a close game. Lively just like it finds Irving, and now he's over back to Hardaway Jr. Here we go to Powell. Slides it back over Feist. Good shot. And I'm a big kick made by Powell. That's a six points of a night. Yeah, you know an easier way to do this? It's just the hard one where you're trying to make that one stay alive. That pressure makes sense, but don't let that one get fooled you. Three pointer misses again for the Clippers. Exit. Here's Hardaway Jr. on the third end. Oh, no. That is Powell for Hardaway Jr. puts it in. Los Angeles trying to get back in again. They're trailed by 21. But here's a pass. Tucker gets a land drive. Now it's going back down by 11. Kyrie Irving with the ball. Trying to give over it again to Exo. Over back now, finding Hardaway Jr. Jr. trying to reach out. Looks back again. Here's Exo. Exo with a two. Yeah, makes it in there. That's another bucket made for Dallas. The first bucket is made, burns him, and now it's a 58-45 game. Back to 13, and back to 11 again. After a score by PG-13, he has eight points. Well, you always know the status out there with PG-13. Paul George trying to let that one get to the loose. He made that one really easy. Better call than ever. Here's Lively. Cody Bell. What a great step in for Lively. Back to second bucket. Well, you say that Lively the second he is really trying to make that one feel like it's on the pressure. They're making this one a lot harder than challenging. Twice up. And it misses the shot. Powell making his second rebound now has it over again to Hardaway Jr. Almost tipped. Hardaway Jr. in. That is off the rim and it goes back again to the Clippers. And there's an offensive foul. The reach is called on Tim Hardaway Jr. A defense foul. Now Hardy checked in as Irving checked out. And for the Clippers, also making new changes out there as Paul George and Pfizer checked out. Checking back in is Coffee and Pudley. For the two, Powell, it's good. Another two makes it in. Now their first timeout's been called by Dallas Mavericks. We're nearing down a one minute mark in the quarter. Well, they're really expecting that the Clippers want to make a close game in the third quarter. They're making this one a lot challenging. I want to see them if this is a close game that we can get. Get going out there if you can. The NBA Playoffs and 2K Sports is brought to you by AT&T 5G. Connecting changes everything. State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And by Starry Law.
We have some couple next games underway, but the NHL, we've got our next game coming with you. As we have the Golden Knights facing against the Oilers at T-Mobile Arena. That will be later tonight's game. But the next game will be Avalanche and Jets back at Canada's Life Century. These are the only two games that's going to be happening here with the next couple of them. Before Game 7 happening here on the other side of the Rangers and the Bulls. You'll see how well they will do to keep an eye on it steady. That will be all the games right here only on Son of Beats. Be sure to subscribe to this channel and thank you all so much for who have subscribed. You are the best. Here's the shot. Hardaway Jr., no problem here. He makes another bucket. That's his second. I always know that Tim Hardaway Jr. can never fall down. That's what I was always expecting to see it. The reporter misses it. And Plumley took it in there. 62-51 to score. A trail by 11. Always not to tell, but Mason Plumley's really getting this one on a good chance. That better shot is just a hard one that you got to make. But this is what they can do if they have that one on the right timing. Already now fights to get a foul. Five to shoot. Here's a chance. Hardaway Jr. For a step of shot and he's out of time. No shot made. It goes over to the Clippers ball. Oh, that's a little too much of timing. And this one was a step. One, two, and you're out. That is just happening here. That is going to be a too much call. They're turning it over that big. Norman Powell with 10 seconds left to remain. And it's stolen by Hardy. And Hardaway Jr. trying to give up. Maxi Kleba for the buzz beater. And it's off the rim. That ends the third quarter. They turn by 11. 62 51 to score. We're hoping to see if there is a close chance for the Clippers if they can come back in game five. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after these messages of the NBA 2K Sports of the Playoffs. And a moment now to reveal your State Farm Assistant of the Game. Just an easy one. I really like the call, and this one putting in there in the great side. This is what the angle does. Hardaway Jr. off to Lively, and that's where you take it to try in there. Not making that one clean. I really love that one. This is the setup where you gotta take. It's just a hard one, but you gotta go for it. Three quarters down, one quarter to go, as we are glad to have you back with us. Luka Doncic is on the Russell Westbrook. Van Exum, he's on Cuffin. Right from the inside is Maxi Kleba and Mason Plumley. Kawhi Leonard, he's on the other side of the court. Washington and Hardaway Jr. on James Harden. Here's a three. Doncic for the fire ready. That one sinks it in for the triple. Duncan just got 20 points in this game. Hey, you always expect what LT does. He made that one, rated three, a better challenge than that. Westbrook with three. No answer back as Green picks up the rebound. And now here's Hardaway Jr. Gives it over. Green back to Kleba. Kleba over around it again. That makes a great beauty drive for the Mavericks. Maxi Kleba's got his first bucket. And Russell Westbrook will try to give off to Harden. Harden making his way in. Back step. Three pointer for Runner. And a quarter will do. Dawkins has got a six rebound. Off to get to Kleba. Here he goes. And it goes in. Number two for Kleba. And it's Dawkins with the assist. You know, that's an open pass. That's what it's just keeping it in there. For some of along, and, it, and that's what happens now. Not giving a good pass is way easier than you see. And that put it. Puts it in for James Harden. Comparison to the range. Eight points for Harden and 20 for Dunkic. He has an 18 point advantage if he gets there. I don't know. That would be the thing. Because that may not be what I was expecting for James Harden to do. It's better average. He has to get more of a lot of potential scoring range if he does one. Hardaway Jr. trying to beat the shot clock. That's missed again. Plumlee with the rebound. Westbrook. Toward the wing. Trying to look for some more answers. Harden right to the outside. Luka Doncic out here. Screen. Finds a pass. Runner for three. It's good. And the outside read. Puts it back. 69-56. 
Now here's Mavericks. Dallas as Cleveland drives it back again to Dukic. Now it wants to have a little bit more motion on it to drive. Here's a pass to Hardaway Jr. Now he's over again to Washington for the step up, and this one's off the range. An excellent effort for Kawhi Leonard, and now here he goes. Spin move. Oh, what do you know? That's where Coffee starts things off. He goes in, spin, and makes the try. For that one, it almost had to be a traveling violation. That was almost going to take over it from real life. But that one, the referee didn't signal that one on what they call him traveling. He really had that one lucky in. And here's Dalkic over Westbrook and a good try. This is Dalkic with 22 points with under five minutes left. You know the fans are unhappy right now because of how Dalkic is playing. And that's why he's just keeping it in there at the right moment. Timeout call by Los Angeles Clippers with under five minutes to go. And if you're ready to have the next game, we have a next battle with this one ready for tonight's game. As we have the Cavaliers facing against the Pacers back at Rocket Morgan Shieldhouse. Ben Crowley along with the next game is the, the ultimate of the town, Wilson, Minnesota. Facing on against the Phoenix Suns at back at Target Center. That's at 9.30 p.m. All coverage here only on Sun of Peace. That's going to be coming up in just a few seconds, a few minutes in between of the tonight's game in the Eastern Conference and later in the Western Conference. Now you're probably along with the next game. There was only a couple of them in Eastern Conference. We only had two games to go. It's going to be the Celtics versus the Sixers. Coverage starts at 6.30 p.m. On the other side, we'll have a doubleheader. First, it will be hockey. And then, secondly, will be basketball. on back on the other side in the rain. And it also what the other one calling for. Yes, you name it. Because that's where the game team's on. And you're going to have to see what it is. Key and Bucks. That's the other side of the range. See how they can do to keep it going. All right, here's another new change up here. As some changes are on the court. Right now, Giga Zubox is checked back in. Cleveland's checked out. As right now, Gafford's checked back in. In corner now, finding George. Open look. Step back. That great defensive effort for Gafford. And now he finds a pass again to Luka Doncic. Over back to Washington. Washington trying to look it up. And back to Doncic with the bounce pass back to Washington. Doncic trying to play a hustle in a hurry. Looks to Hardaway Jr. Step up for the two. He misses again. That's not going to happen now. Hardaway Jr. really needed to have that one set, separated. Yeah. 71 to 61, and they're down by 10 with four minutes to go. They're absolutely stepping back in the game. They gotta let that one fall down. And here he comes. Duncan Chop, he makes the try. That's 24 points in a row for Donkic. 75 on his field goal range. Oh, yes, he does. It's excellent. What a start. What a good three. Can't hold on. And a solid effort by Luka Doncic. Gafford's got a seven rebound of the night with 3-3 to go. Over now to Doncic. Finds a pass. Open look. And Gafford got it in there that time. He has a second bucket. Los Angeles trailing by 16. By 14, excuse me. Chariots man, gotta get home for the open look. Good on a throw down, making a three point range to make it rain. 75 64, we're back down my limit. Here's an arrow look, Washington. Fade a shot, back to Duncan, over again to Green. Gaffer will help him make a screen. Still no thing on the cover, back to Duncan. They give a go look to Washington. Up 
number two. It's good. Washington with five points after Donkage with the assist. They're really expecting now. BJ Washington is really on, on the coverage in the star range. Nevertheless, they're making this one a lot of change up that you have. On your own, take it here. Three for man. That's another miss, and Donkic will have that back thanks to assist here by Gapper. Time ticking down left with two minutes remaining. Green finds on oh, Harvard Jr. for three. Misses. And now back the airway, here's George. Feeling out a little bit, the reach, almost turned it over, here's the jumper, and good! Going on runner back down with the 10, and it's now a 77-66. Time on goal by Dallas Mavericks with 1 minute and 48 to go. The NBA playoffs of 2K Sports is brought to you by... Your look on Kia dealers. A moment that inspires. Ruffles, the official chip of the NBA. And by American Express. Don't live life without it. And now, we decide to present to you with your New Balance player of the game. For game number five, it all goes to Luka Doncic. He's excellent. The star player does have it all for Doncic in the range. After beating it off here for a first game, they definitely made their way. They're coming back. They just have that one. You're crushing out. It's just a hard one that you play for. But Doncic knew that he can definitely try to save it all and get down to his bottom. The second round is going to start things off as the Mavericks are making their way into the second round, and they will be playing against the Denver Nuggets, the number one seeded team in the Western Conference. Now, Duncan will find again at Washington for three. Three pointer misses off the target. Man with the ball. Man inside. Give off to Leonard. Seven back with a two. Misses for the outside. Luka Doncic with his eighth rebound of the night. Over now to Hardaway Jr. Here's the pass to Washington. Moving the ball around. Gapper gives it over now to Duncan. Just down to six on the shot clock. Hardaway Jr. in a hurry. For the two. Set back in range. Number three pointer makes it for Donkic. 27 points. Now you say what I'm saying. Look at Donkic, he's just showing no time and effort. That's what they always expected of him. That happened to be a great force drive. Now the foul calls on Daniel Gepard and Paul George in the free throw line shooting two. Paul George hits the first free throw. Making this one that PG-13 must have that one out. Answer in and have that comeback score. Russell Westbrook is checked in for James Harden. Paul George hits the second free throw. And now Donkic will roll it out. Under 50 seconds remaining in the fourth quarter, as Hardaway Jr. is on the outside. Trying to push your way in there, now gives it off to Donkic. Another three! You bet! He finally has 30 points in his fifth game, and that one will end off for the Clippers. Yeah, it's pretty sad right now that the Clippers already made their way in towards the next bottom line, but it wasn't that hard at all. Playing against the Mavericks was not an optional. That's a hard one to take, but hey, let's face it, it's just a deal or a no deal. That's what you do when you play against the West Coast team. 
Six on the shot clock, finds Dunkage for number one, and now this is rejected by Leonard. And that will do for the Clippers as Westbrook will decide to stop here. Final score, 83-68. Mavericks move on to take on the Denver Nuggets a mile high. And that's how you settle it, make a win. All definitely sportsmanship, it's everything to go for. Congratulations, Mass. Make him back into the second. And now to close things off, we go to David Aldridge on the sideline. All right, David. Thanks, Kevin. Luca, you played well and you got the win. So what made the difference? Yeah, I think we had a uh, we had a great game. You know, we had a I think it was a great game today. You know, we stuck up uh, together, played good defense. And it was a great win. Thanks for your time, man. Appreciate it. Kevin, back to you. All right, David, thank you. And that's going to wrap it up, folks, in Los Angeles. OJ, along with Paintbrush and Son of Beast and David Aldridge, this has been a presentation of the NBA Playoffs. Thanks for watching, and have a great night in Los Angeles. So long, everybody. All right, guys, thank you so much. So Los Angeles Clippers are eliminated in the first round against the Mavericks. As right now, they're moving on to take on a mile high against the Nuggets, the number one seeded team. It's a five versus the one seed. Here's what we do with the total statistics. 55% for the field goals for the Dallas Mavericks, and it was 47% for the free pointers with 83 then, the Clippers answered back with the fast break points and points in pink with the second chance points on 11, 36, and 4. But the bench points keeps on happening for Dallas. They have all of them destroyed everything with bench points, assist, defense, and defensive rebounds, send and steal. Only a block was even. 27, 31, 7, 28, and 3. Turnovers was only 2. 3 team fouls was called on the Los Angeles Clippers. Only three dunks has made for the Clippers again. And then it was the biggest lead in time possession with 18 and 18.37 remaining of the time period. So that is it. Game 5 has already been concluded, but we are still not done yet. We have a couple more games to go. But now, let's have a look for your three, three stars players of the game. Three star player of the game. Correct that one for me. Now, for the third star, I'm going to start things off here, and it's all for everything. James Harden finishes off with 11 points, 3 rebounds, 4 assists, 5 out of 9 field goals, 1 3-pointer, and only 3 3-pointers, and only 21 performance effort. He just had that one here to make that one a terrific scoring bound to make the drive easy and possible. Now, for the second star, I send it over now to the Mavericks. Kyrie Irving with 13 points, 1 rebound, 3 assists. Five out of seven field goals with one three-pointer and missed it only two, but only 19 performance effort was amazing. Fantastic one for Uncle Drew to be unstoppable. And your number one star of the game, I'll say hello to a Euro League player. From Solian of his region team, it's Luka Doncic. Your New Balance player of the game, 30 points, 9 rebounds, 10 assists, 11 out of 15 field goal range, 5 three-pointers were made. 52 performance effort is turning excellent. He's a pro at it. He never slows it down. What an excellent takeover. you got to make the credit to go in the run. And that's going to wrap it up here, folks. I hope you enjoyed this part of the game. And I'm betting on this is going to be an exciting game for a second round once the first round is complete. So, you'll see what happens on the other side. But tonight, it's the Cavaliers and the Pacers that are ready to do this one again. I'll send you over to the other side once we get a quick break, and I will stream things over, over on the other side to see what goes in. This is me, Phil. I'd like to thank you all for watching for the first two games. We'll stick around with the second two games on the other side. Peace out, folks. For a while, as the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports Style. I'm at. Bye. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.